Hello and welcome to my channel, I Win to Lose Gaming. Yao Yao is one of the first characters that we've known about for absolutely ever, but has only now finally become a playable character. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how interesting and useful a Constellation Zero Yao Yao can be, with many different free to play friendly builds. I'm going to admit that upon initially looking at Yao Yao's abilities, I felt a bit underwhelmed. But after exploring the Yue Gui hole that is her odd dendro healing kit, I'm pleasantly satisfied with the excessive amount of radishes that she provides. I'll be showcasing three entire builds for her, starting with a general support build, a healing focus build, and finally even a DPS build. We'll also take a look at a team that was severely in dire needs of precisely what Yao Yao offers. Oh yeah, and before we drown ourselves in radishes, might I ask you to subscribe to this humble little YouTube channel. My goal is to hit 500,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of 2023, and since over 1.2 million of you guys watch my videos every month, if just the fraction of you all subscribe, we could reach that goal in no time at all. The first showcase is with a general support set with the Favonius Lance and the Tenacity of the Millilith. She has an HP focus build, and is of course at Constellation Zero throughout this entire video. Her talents are at 1, 8, and 8, so everything you see in this video can indeed still be improved via her talents and constellations. Let's start off by taking a look at her kit. Unsurprisingly, Yaya's normal attacks, toss and turn spear, aren't very powerful, doing a colossal, meta-shattering hundreds of damage. And while she's got some cute clumsy animations for her normal attacks, she doesn't have that issue of her clumsiness with her charge attacks, and she elegantly spins through the air in an attempt to murder a Regis Fine friend with her Favonius Lance. Anyway, I don't think any of us were expecting her normal attacks to be good. Let's move on to her elemental skill, Raffinus Sky Cluster. Yaya yeah, yeah, adorably tosses out her potentially sentient stuffed rabbit friend, Yugui, out. Yugui then proceeds to toss out potentially sentient radishes. If your character is under 70% HP, Yugui targets your character, and with this general support build, it's healing Yao Yao for 1390 HP per radish plus a healing over time tick of 315 HP from her second passive. Also notice that there is a small AoE. When Yugui's radishes actually hit Yao Yao, it still damages the Regisvine for a little bit of Dendro damage. After Yao Yao is over 70% HP, Yugui decides it's better to murder its enemies instead of topping off our character, and it focuses the Regis Vine. In total, Yugui throws 10 radishes during its duration, and generates roughly around 4 Dendro Particles. I'm not 100% sure as to exactly how many particles it generates, but oftentimes it's around 4. Up next is her Elemental Burst, Moon Jade Descent. Moon Jade Descent is a very peculiar elemental burst, costing 80 energy, having 5 seconds of uptime, and a 20 second cooldown. All radishes are converted into the souped up Adeptal Legacy White Jade Radishes, which are dealing an insane 1295 damage on crit. Yao Yao dashing or jumping will also throw out radishes. There's a lot of radishes here, 18 to be precise. Her three Yigues throw out nine radishes, and Yao Yao herself throws out nine radishes. Sadly though, if you swap Yao Yao out during her burst, her elemental burst ends prematurely. This was a bit harsh of a decision in my opinion by MiHoYo, but oh well. Next, let's use her entire kit to cataclysmic effects against our friendly Regisvine volunteer. Well, with a support tenacity build like this, I think none of us are surprised by the Regisvine barely taking any damage. 
Instead of seeing how much damage she can do with a support build though, let's see how much she can heal. Well, she's able to top herself up very quickly with both her elemental skill and her elemental burst. That's quite a very decent amount of healing. But we can push her healing even further beyond with a healing focus build with the Black Tassel, Two Piece Maidens, and Two Piece Ocean Hue Clan. 2611 healing per radish along with 611 hit points per healing DOT. This means that just her elemental skill at level 8 can heal around 30,000 hit points. You certainly won't be lacking in healing with this build. And there's another really important detail about Yao Yao's elemental burst. It heals the whole party, and you can even grab stray radishes on the ground for some additional healing. And next you might be wondering, can Yao Yao actually do damage? Let's find out. For her DPS build, I'm using the catch along with the emblem of severed fates. And I'm going to apply electro for her to spread. Honestly, that's not too shabby. She was almost able to single cycle the Regisvine with spread and a burst damage focus build. Fun fact, Yao Yao will also convert her Yuegui from her elemental skill to do elemental burst damage during her 5 second burst duration. But what about a full team scenario? With a Sapwood Blade Bennett, Thrilling Tales Lisa, and Sacrificial Fragments Constellation 2 Nahida. Oh my god, this team was ridiculously able to somehow single cycle the robot chicken. Granted, this is not a team or build I recommend in the slightest, but it's hilarious to see Yao Yao do a radishulous amount of damage. Let's also run through Yao Yao's ICDs. I think a little bit more testing will be required, but for my testing, her elemental skill alone applies Dendro four times. Her elemental burst alone applies Dendro five times. And if you use her elemental skill and then her elemental burst at the same time, that applies Dendro six times. I think there is some kind of time limit and not a hit limit when it comes to Yao Yao applying Dendro. Anyway, do comment down below if you know the exact mechanics behind her ICD for her kit. Well, we went off on a bit of a tangent, but let's go back to her first general support build, the Favonius with Tenacity. I actually think Yao Yao is the missing piece for a free-to-play friendly Kaching Aggravate team. Why is this? Yao Yao is the perfect consolidation of healing and Dendro application, which is exactly what a Kaching Aggravate team was missing. Now you can effortlessly slot in Fischl and have just enough Dendro application to constantly aggravate things while also healing yourself up. My Thundering Fury Kaching is using the Lion's Roar, and as we can see, this team feels very natural and easy to use. A single target like the Perpetual Mechanical Array isn't difficult for this team, and it was able to complete it in a very reasonable amount of time. Well, 2-1 highlights a slightly unique problem for Yao Yao. Yao Yao isn't actually great at AoE Dendro application. However, her elemental burst along with dashing does allow us to tag all three of these Dorito bots reasonably fast enough for us to then use Kaching and Fischl to aggravate them all to death. And then, well, it's just a single target situation against this Aramite. It's also notable that this team doesn't require elemental bursts to do a decent amount of damage as they were able to clean up the slightly durable Aramite Lady fairly quickly. <laughs> Now many of us know that Aggravate is a great reaction against the Jade Plume Terror Shroom, forcing it to freak out and then take a nap on the ground. Unsurprisingly, this was an effortless chamber for our Aggravate Ching and Yao Yao team. 
Keep in mind that my Kaching is at Constellation 6, but Constellation 1 Kachings can have similar levels of performance to my Kaching. But I did want to point that out so you guys have better context on this. Anyway, 1211 was completed in 63 seconds, 1221 in a stellar 34 seconds, and 1231 in an even more stellar 33 seconds. So what do I think about Yao Yao? Well, she's a very interesting and flexible character. As we can see, even in this video, I showcased three different builds. She's quite flexible, simply being Dendro and a healer. In particular, the main Dendro teams lacking a healer were free to play Aggravate Kaching and Sino teams, as they all really like having an animal character like Sucrose or Kazuha, and they like having Fischl. Yao Yao is the perfect solution for this, and frankly, she can be slotted in any off-field Dendro application team. Her elemental skill also generates Dendro particles off field which makes her a decent option for Alhathen as well. Now, I don't think Yao Yao is going to crush the meta or redefine it, but like most healers, she is a great quality of life character. Speaking of quality of life, her exploration passive further cements her role as an incredible quality of life character by allowing you to more easily catch crystal flies and other critters. Yao Yao is also unique in that she has one of the longest off field energy independent ways to apply Dendro with the main other competitor being Nahida's elemental skill. And lastly, hilariously, she can do a decent amount of damage as she throws out so many radishes during her burst, so the raw multiplier is actually higher than one might expect. Anyway, if you're looking for a good role consolidation of healer and dendro, Yao Yao is a perfectly decent option. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.